answer is probably no. So, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own Pip Boy Feast Habit. So, you want to start out with one piece of paper. A stapler. I'm not going to throw that just in case if I get hurt. Another piece of paper. Another piece of paper. And then, the last, no, no, your second last thing is a bunch of freaking coloring supplies. And then, your last thing is some skizz some skizzers. That's all you need to make your very own pit boy your OG. Oh, she just got stabbed. Okay, and that's all the supplies you need to make your very own pit boy. Three thousand. We'll be back with the first step. First step is get the first piece of paper, and I would say take your phone and place it on the piece of paper like that, and then sort of like trace it, but a tiny bit around it. So here, I'll be back show you what I mean. Something like this, but way better, because, like, freaking, I'm a terrible freaking artist. So, yeah. That's what, that's the first step. Deal with it. So, the next step is, you want to get the scissors. Hold on, let me go. Let's get get your freaking scissors here, or whatever you want to call them. Skizzers, scissors, wizards. You want to cut out the thing that you drew. So that's what I'm going to do. When I'm done, I'll be back. Yeah. Do that. Once you have cut it out, you want to get a green marker. And then, here, I'll show you what to write down. It's probably going to be 100% wrong. But who cares? So, yeah. copy the pip boy thing right there probably gonna be extremely hard but yeah like make a pip boy thing right on the piece of paper you just cut out I started so it's finished I think I really did good on the head like um yeah did really good on the head I I, I just got the drawing oh boy yes so, once you've done that, you want to get another piece of paper. Once you got your second piece of paper, you want to get, like, this kind of brown, as you see here, like, there's no more brown, there's no less brown, it's the perfect freaking brown. If you use any more, I'll murder you. Okay, but now, once you got your second piece of paper, you want to get your... Amazing draw. Are you kidding me? Freaking crayon dropped. So I got the crayon. We're all happy now. So you want to place it right here, and you want to trace it. So I'll be back when I'm done tracing it. Once you have traced it, you want you know the dip have this freaking outline of it, and then what you want to do is you want to um. Like trace around this, but a little bit out. Here, here, I'll show you what I'm fully perfect. Like my freaking crayon broke as soon as I got right there. That's why it's messed up. So what you want to do is color all this, all this what part in right in between these two lines. So uh, we'll, I'll be back when I'm done drawing between these lines. So I've colored it. Freaking, I'm done with you. Stop trying to come back! Okay, now, what you want to do is now cut out by this line right here. So I'll be back when I've done that. And um, the next thing you want to do is you want to find your little thing that you traced right here. Yeah, it's upside down. At least I think. I was right! Okay, so then, then you want to Get your stapler. I'll be back. Once you get, get your stapler, 
you want to like make sure your boy right here it's in place of it you want to stamp it right here right here right here right here like everywhere you need to staple down so this will stay here so yeah um i'll be back so on what i did it, it it's working best for me is i stapled right here right here right here right here there 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 so that actually lets it stay down on every single area so Okay, so once you've done that, you want to get your third piece of paper. Uh, be right there. Once you get your piece of paper, you want to like size your wrist. So then you want to like make one outline and then make another outline. Like here, this is what it'll look like when, I, when I'm finished. Like it can, this will allow it to fit perfectly on your wrist. But, um,. You want it to actually stay on your wrist and fit. So what you're going to need to do is like you see right here where it starts getting shorter. You want to draw a line matching up with the biggest line there is. You want to like draw it so it's matching up. I'll show you what I mean. It's pretty confusing. This is what I mean, not this. Because the freaking screen was under it. The staple messed me up. So you want it to look like this. So... Yeah, so then you want to cut it out by, like, that right there, so, yeah, you know what I mean? Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so this is what I mean. Then what you want to do is make it so this can connect to your Pip-Boy. So, yeah, I'll be right back when I get that. I forgot a step. You want to color in this, the same color you colored in this. So, yeah. I'll show you the final results of this. I colored it in. Then you just want to staple it to the pit boy. Then you'll have your finished pit boy. So you don't need to buy the 200 freaking dollar version one. Jesus, it's the best. $200 for a hunk of plastic that half of the people in the universe will love. Jeez, but that's dope. You make this sick. The finish. Product. So you'll see. Freaking. I'll be back when I get it. Like I was saying, you slip this on your arm, just like in the game, and it 100% works. 100% works. 100% fits. It does not twist on your arm. It does not twist on your arm. So yeah. This has been how to build your very own Pip Boy 3000 fully working. See, look. One hundred percent working. It just me might have locked up. Yeah. So, guys, this is how to build your very own Pip Boy 3000. It's a tree. There's a thousand trees. Oh my god. We're all gonna die. Okay, so guys, this has been your boy, Chronic Gamer, teaching you how to make your own Pip Boy 3000. See all you guys 